Isaiah 36. Now it came to pass, in the fourteenth year of King Yekezkiyahu, the Sennacherib, king of Assyria, came up against all the defense cities of Yehuda, and took them. And the king of Assyria sent Rabshakeh from Lachish to Jerusalem unto King Yekezkiyahu with a great army. And he stood by the conduit of the upper pool in the highway of the fuller's field. Then came forth unto him Eliakim, Hilkiyahu's son, which was over the house, and Shebna the scribe, and Yoah, Asaph's son, the recorder. And Rabshakeh said unto them, Say ye now to Yekizkiyahu, Thus saith the great king, the king of Assyria, What confidence is this, wherein thou trustest? I say, sayest thou, but they are but vain words. I have counsel and strength for war. Now on whom dost thou trust, that thou rebellest against me? Lo, thou trustest in the staff of this broken reed on Egypt, whereon if a man lean, it will go into his hand and pierce it. So is Pharaoh, king of Egypt, to all that trust in him. But if thou say to me, We trust in Yahuwah, our Elohim, is it not he whose high places and whose altars Yikeski Yahu hath taken away, and say to Yehuda and to Yerushalayim, You shall worship before this altar? Now therefore give pledges, I pray thee, to my master the king of Assyria, and I will give thee two thousand horses, if thou be able on thy part to set riders upon them. How then wilt thou turn away the face of one captain of the least of my master's servants, and put thy trust on Egypt for chariots and for horsemen. And am I now come up without Yahuwah against this land to destroy it? Yahuwah said unto me, Go up against this land and destroy it. Then said Eliakim and Shevna and Yoah unto Rabshakeh, Speak, I pray thee, unto thy servants in the Syrian language, for we understand it. And speak not to us in the language of the Yehudim, in the ears of the people that are on the wall. But Rabshakeh said, Hath my master sent me to thy master and to thee to speak these words? Hath he not sent me to the men that sit upon the wall, that they may eat their own dung and drink their own piss with you? Then Rabshaka stood and cried with a loud voice in the language of the Yehudim, and said, Hear ye the words of the great king, the king of Assyria. Thus saith the king, Let not Yekizki Yahu deceive you, for he shall not be able to deliver you. Neither let Yekizki Yahu make you trust in Yahuwah, saying, Yahuwah will surely deliver us. This city shall not be delivered into the hand of the king of Syria. Hearken not to Yekizki Yahu, for thus saith the king of Assyria, Make an agreement with me by a present, and come out to me, and eat ye every one of his vine, and every one of his fig tree, and drink ye every one the waters of his own cistern, until I come and take you away to a land like your own land, a land of corn and wine, a land of bread and vineyards. Beware, lest Yekizki Yahu persuade you, saying, Yahua will deliver us. Hath any of the gods of the nations delivered his land out of the hand of the king of Assyria? Where are the gods of Hamath and Arphad? Where are the gods of Sepharvaim? And have they delivered Samaria out of my hand? Who are they among all the gods of these lands that have delivered their land out of my hand, that Yahua should deliver Yerushalayim out of my hand? But they held their peace and answered him not a word, for the king's commandment was, saying, Answer him not. Then came Eliakim, the son of Hilkiyahu, that was over the household, and Shebna, the scribe, and Yoah, the son of Asaph, the recorder, to Yekizkiyahu with their clothes rent, and told him the words of Rav Shakkah.